And his life was never the same as we have come before him this morning. Lift up your voice. I don't want to worship from afar, but I want to dwell in his presence. Lead me at the altar of my father. I want to sing. I want to be where you are. Say, I want to be. If I were you, I want to lift up my hands and sing it. Come on. Dwelling in your presence. Feasting at your table. Surrounded by your glory. Sing in your presence, in your prayer. That's where I always want to be. Sing, that's where I always want to be. Sing, I just want to be. Sing, I just want to be. I just want to be. Matchless love and beauty and this world. Oh, nothing in this world will satisfy. If I have your presence, I am satisfied, oh God. And Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Oh, and who is like you, Lord? Everybody singing, much less love and beauty. Say, much less love and beauty in this world. So nothing in this world will satisfy. Nothing in this world will satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. The cup that won't run. Let me hear you say, sing your prayers as your prayer. Your presence, your glory, 
your presence, your presence, your presence is a fullness to me, to me, to me. Don't hide under the sound. Lift up your voice. Everybody sing. Sing your presence, your presence. Oh. The waters of my soul long after you, oh, and you alone on my heart, desire and I long to worship you. Now these are the words you want to sing to your father this morning. Come on, say. And as the deep panted for the waters of my soul, longed after thee, you alone, you alone, you alone on my heart. You are my desire, desire. Everybody say you Sing and I long, sing and I long. Can you sing it? Come with some meaning to worship you. What a privilege and an honor to stand before Him and sing and I long. What a privilege to lift your hands and sing. I long to worship you and only you and no one else. Come on, sing and I. I bow to nobody else but all to you, Jesus. My author, my finisher. Everybody sing, and I love, and I love. You make me full, you make me whole. Lift up your voice one more time. And I love to worship, and I love. Because it, at your altar, oh God, I find peace, I find everything I need, and I love, and I love to worship you. So I have more than a song yes, Lord. Today I brought myself Kayabosha I am your sacrifice Oh say sing I have more than a song I brought myself, come on sing. I brought myself. I am your worship, nothing but your worship. I am your worship. Praise God, everybody lift your voice. I have more than a song. I have more than a song. Today, say, today. I brought myself. I brought myself. I am your sacrifice. I am your sacrifice. Sing, I have more than a song. Oh, if he has given himself as a ransom to you, this is what you can do. I brought myself, I sing, I am your worship, I am. Oh, this morning, to receive, to receive this living sacrifice, this living sacrifice. Sing, I am your worship, I am your worship, your worship. Father, this morning, say, I accept, I accept 
that Father, I have come here to worship. This is me. This is my sacrifice. This is my offering. This is my altar. Father, this morning, I want to stay at your feet. I want to be where you are. Leave me at the altar with my Father. Leave me at the altar with my Father. Father, receive me as a living sacrifice. I am your worship. I am your glory. I am everything you need. Lift up your voice, whatever you are. Receive my sacrifice. Leave me at the come on, don't stop. Lift up your voice. Accept my offering. Accept my sacrifice. Enough of coming to the house of the Lord and hiding under the sound of the music. Let our worship be Let the let our worship be Let our worship be Receive my we sacrifice. Receive my sacrifice. It's all about as you, Jesus. As pleasing. It's all about you, Elohim. It's all about you, Elohim. It's all about you, Jesus. You, Jesus. I have it's more than a song. You, I will bring you more than a song. For the song in this service, no more than a song. It's your worship. We give it all to you. Your heart. We lift it up to you like sheep and young. Let it be like an incense before thee. We give it all unto you, Jesus. Holy me at the altar with my Father. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Leave me at the altar with my Father. Oh, sing it. So leave me at the altar with my Father. Come on, come on, come on, tell him. Oh, leave me at the altar with my father. He's right here, he is right here. Come on, sing. Leave me at the altar. Sing. Leave me at the altar with my father. Where I find peace, where I can see you face to face. Leave me at the altar, sing. Leave me at the altar with my father. Where I can be hidden under your blood. Sing, leave me at the altar. Leave me at the altar with my father Where I can see you, I can see your glory, Lord Leave me at the altar with my father oh. Indeed, Elohim accept our worship Indeed, King of Kings accept our worship Indeed, our provider accept our worship Indeed, the beginning and the end accept our worship. Yes, Lord. Indeed, the first and the Lord accept our worship. Yes, Lord. King of kings, we say, accept our worship. Yes, Lord. Our gratitude Lord. is in your yes, presence, Lord. Elohim. Yes, Lord. Let our worship be like a sweet yes, fragrance Lord. in your yes, presence. Yes, Let it be like an incense in your presence, yes, Lord. Lord. As we lift you up, let your glory come down upon your children. We are grateful unto you, King of Kings. We are grateful unto you, our Creator. We are grateful unto you, the one who Hallelujah. provides for us. Hallelujah. We are grateful unto you for how far we are. Hallelujah. We are grateful unto you for the health of our life. Hallelujah. We are grateful unto you that indeed yes, we can see, we can walk, we can talk. Yes, we are grateful unto you that indeed Elohim, we can worship you in liberty. We can worship you in freedom. We can give you the praise that you deserve. Therefore this morning Praise Gate Temple, yes. from the head, which is our Father, yeah, to the every minute person amongst us. Yeah. All we are saying is, uh, have, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Let your presence flow. Yes, 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 accept it all, Elohim. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Yes, Lord. We see it and we are grateful unto you. Yes, Lord. We will not let the situations that we see will bring us down. Yes, because you are not in the tomb. Yes, because you are risen. Yes, Lord. We will search for you where you are. Yes, Lord. And that's why we are in your presence. Yes, Lord. Giving you the praise and the honor. Yes, Lord. Because you are alive. Yes. Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. For what you're doing in our lives. Yes, yes, and let all saints continue to say amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we please be seated?
Hallelujah. Amen. On behalf of our daddy, our mommy and the leadership of Praise Gate Temple, I just want to welcome all of you. Amen. Remember, he's not there. Hallelujah. He's not there. You know, the, the daddy was taking us through the concept of the father, he's not there. And as I sat down, a thought came to mind. You know, next month, we have something we call what? It's a coronation or whatever. Do you know why? Because Prince Charles knows that the mother is not there. Hallelujah. And that he is able to stand in as the king and accept it. I don't know who I'm talking to. But when I look at the tube this morning, when I was standing, I checked at the tube. He's not there. And that is enough for me to say, I am a winner. Hallelujah. That is enough for me to say, I am healed. That is enough for me to say that no matter the situation that I found myself in, because he's not in the tomb, he's not in the tomb. I am who God says I am. Amen. A royal priesthood, a special person. Hallelujah. And therefore, not what I hear, not what I see, no matter how negative they are, it's enough for me to say that because he's not there in the tomb, I am who God says I am. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Once again, anyone watching online, I believe that in your spirit and in your condition, remember he's not there. And as you walk out of this door, as you are here, as Jesus that we look for is alive. Every day situation, expect that he will be alive. Hallelujah. Every condition that you find yourself in, because he is alive and he's not there. It's enough for you to see that you have come to seek the person or God who is alive. And that that situation will change before you leave. Amen and amen. I can see your beautiful and handsome faces. But it's good for you to go around and tell because I'm the only one saying it. You can tell 100 people and let on your right and 200 on your right. As you walk about and give them a welcome. And tell them that he's not there. Hallelujah. And that assure them. Prophesy over their life and it will come to pass. Why won't you get up and begin to walk around and welcome someone in the presence of the Most High God? Hallelujah. Begin to walk around and talk to someone. Say good things to that person. Let the person know that Jesus is alive. He's not in the tomb. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I stand amazed in your presence. There is nothing you cannot do. Amazed in your presence. There is joy, peace, and There's no one like you in all the earth. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. Come on, I send a message. I send a message in your presence. There is nothing you cannot do. I send a message in your presence. I send a message in your presence. There is joy, peace, and hope. There's no one like you. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you. Say, you do my things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do my things. You do my things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome.
Thank you. Knock off your hands, everybody. Hey. A mini time and crowd. Clap your hands, clap. Go this way. So God is good all the time. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. If you know that Lord is good, clap your hands. Today the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. Let me hear it, brother. Okay. One, two, come on, say. God is good all the time. Come on, say. The song of praise and his heart of mine. Say, God is good all the time. Through the darkest night. Through the darkest, his light will shine. His light. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. All the time. time. Now let's take it, everybody. Okay. Say one, two, come on, say. God is good. Come on, say. All the time. Come on. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good. Sing all the time. Through the darkest, through the darkest night. His light will shine. God is good. God is good. All the time, all the time. Now let's do the first. Now listen. Say, if you're walking through the valley, there are shadows all around. So do not fear. Come on. Say, He will guide you and He will keep you safe and sound. Don't stop clapping. For He has promised. Clap. To never leave us, come on, and not forsake us. Hey, and his words are true. Say, God is good all the time, all the time. Come on, say, he put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time, all the time. Hey, through the darkest night, his light will shine. God is good, God is good. Declare it all. Verse 2, everybody said, eh, eh, eh. We are sinners, so unworthy. So for us, He chose to die. Do you believe that? Oh, the said, So He has promised to never leave us, nor forsake us. Say, and His word. True, say God is good all the time. All the time. Let me hear. Come on. He put a song on in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. All the time. Yeah. So through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good. Second one, say, I said I wasn't gonna tell nobody, but I couldn't keep it to myself. Couldn't keep it to myself. Come on, say, couldn't keep it to myself. I said I wasn't gonna testify, but I couldn't keep it to myself. What the Lord has done for me. Come on, say, I said I wasn't gonna testify, but I couldn't keep it to myself. Say, say, don't stop clapping. I said I wasn't gonna sing for Jesus, but I couldn't keep it to myself. All oh, the Lord has done for me. Say you oughta been there, but it saved my soul. You oughta been there, but you put my name on the roll. Started walking, started talking, started singing, started telling what the Lord has done. For me. Hey, come on, say you oughta been there. But it set my soul. You all have been there. But I put my name on the Started walking, started walking, started singing, started jumping, started in the water. Come on. Put everywhere there. 
You ought to be there But to save your soul You ought to be there Say, but to put your name on the road Come on, say Started walking, started talking Started singing, started jumping with the Lord I stand for me Come on, clap Oh, when the saints go marching in Say, oh, when the saints go marching Come on, sing it Oh Lord, I sing it to be a man. Come on, say. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Say, say. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Come on, say. Oh Lord, I want to be Don't stop clapping. In the name of Jesus. Come on, say. In the name of Jesus. Come on, say in the name of we are say we have the victory in the name of Jesus in the name of in the name of Jesus Satan say Satan if you have the power of the resurrection sing it in the name of in the name of Jesus we have the victory he's not there come on say in the name of in the name of Jesus Say, Satan, you have to see. Say, oh, tell me who can stand before us. Come on, say, when we call down great name. Jesus, come on. Say, we have said, we have the victory. One more time. Oh, Clap, clap. Now you remember this one. So I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the Lord. For He is worthy to be praised. Sing up to me. So I will call upon the Lord. Come on. For He is worthy to be praised. Come on. Say. So we. So we will call upon his name For he is worthy to be praised So shall I be saved from the enemy The Lord And let the rock of all salvation be exalted The Lord reign it Blessed be the rock And let the rock of my salvation be exalted the Lord reign Blessed be the rock And let the rock of our salvation be exalted The Lord reign Blessed be the rock And let the rock of our salvation be exalted Amen Please let us take this Take our seats and bear in mind the following announcements. We've got um, three prayer meetings which takes place on Tuesday from 8 to 9, which is led by Reverend Collins. On Wednesdays, we don't have the prayer school Wednesdays. On Fridays, we have our normal prayer meeting which starts from 8 till 10, which will be on Zoom and Facebook and YouTube. Please do well to share it. We have their morning daily devotion which starts from 6 to 6.30, which is Monday to Friday. The links will be on WhatsApp, so please do well to share it. Sunday service starts at 10 a.m. 
10 to 12. So please do well to come on time so we can also finish on time. And I believe those are the general announcements for today. God bless you all. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Reverend Collins, thank you very much indeed. Can you please all be seated? I don't have anything to say, but I, just one thing I just want to remind you all, especially those of you sitting in the front seat. Can you look at the chairs and tell me if you can see any difference? <clears throat> I just want to say a very big thank you to just one special lady in the house. I mean, we've been saying that he has been saying all along that, you know, it's good for you to be a member of Praise Gate Temple, but then it's also good for you to attach yourself to a department in the church or to offer your services because we are like Martha and Mary. Mary was all the time sitting by Jesus and Martha was also offering her services. This particular lady phoned daddy during the week and said, Daddy, I have got some spare time, but the Lord is telling me to come to the church and do some cleaning. So she took upon herself. She was here two, three days last week. She cleaned all the chairs. She cleaned all that side. She cleaned all the restroom and all that. So all I want to say is, thank you so much, Elder Janice, Elder Jay. Thank you so, 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 so much for your time. You could have spent your time at home, but then you decided to come into the house of the Lord to do your job. Jesus. God richly bless you. God richly bless you. And if you are here and you also want to follow in her footsteps or you want to give her a hand, please, Elder Jay is there. Talk to her. Let us all help each other. Let us all help one another to beautify this place because it's our house and it's the house of the Lord. So, Elder Jay, on behalf of Daddy, and I just a very big thank you. Thank you for all that you did and thank you for all that you continue to do. May God richly bless you. Amen. Amen. Um, just as um, Elder Tony leads us with the title offering, Understood the internet is not working. Amen. 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 So even as it's new for us as well, don't let that distract you. Please be ministered to. Amen. 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 Yes, we're going to do this simple song with my sister, Minister Cassandra. Hallelujah. Let's go.
So I just want to speak the name of Jesus Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Come on now. Sing it. Sing it. Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Your name is power Your name is healing your name is life Break every stronghold Shine through the shadows Burn like a fire I just want to speak the name of Jesus Over Call his name Jesus Over every fear and anxiety Oh To every soul had captives by depression I, I speak Jesus Your name's there Your name is power Your name is healing Your name Shadows burn like a fire. Your name, say, your name is power, and your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold and shine through the shadows. Burn like a fire. in the darkness for every enemy Jesus in my family I speak the holy name Jesus
sitting down why not stand up and begin to shout the name of Jesus somebody shout the name of Jesus, Jesus. over your fear shout the name of Jesus yeah. over your anxiety shout the name of Jesus over your pain Jesus. come on somebody somebody Jesus. don't stand don't stand Jesus. don't stand begin to shout the name Jesus. of Jesus Yes, at the mention of the name Jesus of Jesus, demons tremble. Jesus, 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 Jesus in the tree. Jesus in your family. Jesus at the corner of your home. Jesus, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I speak the name of Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountains. Shout Jesus from the mountains. Come on now. Jesus in the street. Jesus from the street. Jesus in the dark. the mountains. Jesus in the valley. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus in my family. Jesus in my I family. Speak the holy name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mama, mama, mama. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Gato Paul. Worshiping God, united in fellowship, and winning the world for Christ. Praise Gato Paul. Worshiping God, united in fellowship, and winning the world for Christ. Amen. Good morning, church. Um, our Bible reading for today is taken from John chapter 5, verses um, 11 to 17. I'm reading from the NLT. But he replied, The man who healed me told me, Pick up your mat and walk. Who said such a thing as that? is easy when you up on the mountain you got peace of mind like you've never known but things change when you down saw two white robed angels one sitting at the head and the other at the foot of the place where the body of Jesus had been lying dear woman why are you crying the angels asked her because they have taken away my Lord she replied and I don't know where they have put him she turned to leave she turned to leave and saw someone standing there it was Jesus but she didn't recognize him. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her. Who are you looking for? She thought 
he was the gardener. Sir, she said, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him and I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus said, she turned to him and cried out, Rabboni, which is Hebrew for teacher, don't, be, don't cling to me, Jesus said, for I haven't yet ascended to the Father, but go find my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and to your God. I'm going to take the verse 17 again. Don't cling to me, Jesus said, for I haven't yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and tell them, I'm ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and to your God. Here ends the reading. Amen. Come on, we can do better than that. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you are not tired, you can stand, please. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My goodness, I love what my daughter said, especially the verse, I think, 15 and 16. Mary's request. He says, he asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, he said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I'll go and get him. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. That must be the attitude of the church today. Yes, Lord. We will go and get him wherever Jesus is. We will Amen. go and fetch him. Amen. No matter what they say, we will go and fetch Jesus. Amen. I love that spirit of Mary. Tell me where Jesus is and I'll go look for him. You know, most of us, we give up so quickly. We give up on our Jesus. But Mary was not ready to give up on her Jesus. Yes. I don't know what kind of Jesus you're serving this morning, but I've come all the way from Upington to tell you yes. that the Jesus that I'm serving, I will not give up on him. Amen. No matter what the economic forecast, no yes. matter what they say, yes. no matter what the doom and gloom, yes. no matter what the fear and the anxiety, yes. even though he slay me, I will still be looking for him. Yes. Say, tell me why you have kept him and I will go fetch for him. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Amen. <clears throat> Please be seated. Thank you, Lord. Yes, amen and amen. Amen. We want to take this time to welcome all our visitors. If you have visited, today is the first time that you are serving the Lord here. We love you. We want you to know that we love you. So please, if today is the first time that you're serving the Lord, we are not here to embarrass you. Just sit down and lift up your right hand, and all of us will come and love you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shake their hands. Shake their hands. They are precious. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I know Pastor Harrison and uh, Minister Anita, the traffic. Yes. You know, when, when we come to church, some of us, the places that we live is very far. And so when somebody makes the effort to come in, oh my goodness, we must thank God for their lives. And therefore, like my son, uh, uh, could, could you, Steve, traveling all the way from, uh, is it Watford? Yes, Watford, yeah. It's not easy. Amen. So we thank God for your lives, and I am grateful to the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. It's Friday was, Friday evening, Reverend Kinsley said something, and it stayed upon my heart. And I want to encourage all of us that we should go back and, and revisit the message that Reverend Kinsley preached on Friday. Amen. I wouldn't give you the theme, but it's there for you to visit so that you can imprint them upon your heart. But he said something that was so profound that after all the noise that we made all across the world, Easter, Good Friday, Resurrection, 
everything is gone. Now we are back again. The whole week, all that we heard was doom and gloom. Yeah, can I, can I get witness to that? Everything has been normalized. We've come back to our old routine. Routine of fear and disappointment and discourage and sorrow and sad. I can see from your faces sitting down here. My goodness. Ah. So the Lord said to me, no, no, go back to the tomb and show them that the tomb is empty. Can somebody say a better amen? Let us go back. If I had my own way, every day of the year, I would preach about the resurrection. If I had my own way, every day of the year, I would talk about the resurrection. Because the resurrection is the equilibrium center for every Christian. Without the resurrection, we would not be balanced in the Lord. Yes. And so, yes, let us not forget the resurrection that has made us who we are. Because of the resurrection, you and I can smile. Because of the resurrection, we can face tomorrow. Because of the resurrection, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Because of the resurrection, we can claim that we are the head and not beneath. Praise God, all because of the resurrection. Somebody say amen. Amen. Therefore, the Bible that we read last week Sunday was from the book of Matthew chapter 28. And I love it so much from verses 1 to 10. And it's the conjunctural Bible verse or ch ch uh, verses that follows what my daughter read from the book of John chapter 20. But in the book of Matthew chapter 28 verses 1 to 10, we hear the narratives after the barrier, we know that the Friday Jesus was crucified. There was commotion and everything was confused. People were sad, but majority were the betrayers. They were glorifying and they were shouting because they were bribed. You know, the system can be in such a way that very soon, situation can change. Those that are for you all of a sudden will turn against you. At times, it's so miserable that you feel that what is happening to my life, that people that you think they should be there for you in your time of desperation will turn against you. Uh, have you uh, am I talking to myself? No. My goodness. That is, that is the situation. But the truth of the matter is that was the symbol of Good Friday. Uh, somehow I was waiting and I was looking for blind man Batimos amongst the, cloud, the crowd. Where was blind man Matimos when everybody, they were all screaming, crucify him. I was waiting. And that, uh, uh, the lame man uh, at the pool of Bethsaida who had the healing, I was waiting that at least I could hear his voice. In, yes, other words, yes. and in other words, when there is doom and gloom in the society, I am waiting that I will hear the voice of Nanasai. I will hear the voice uh, 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 of uh, 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 Aramatha. I will hear the voice of somebody uh, shouting that no matter what, ah, Jesus is still the Lord. Amen. Come on, can I, can I get a witness to that? No matter what the system puts us under, we must be bold enough to shout the name of Jesus. The Bible says the high priest, they whipped up the crowd. In other words, they bribed the crowd. And the crowd, all of them, turned against Jesus. But thank God, there were two women that went on that day after the, res after the crucifixion. Early Sunday morning, as my daughter read, they went to the tomb. I love the story of the resurrection because it gives me hope. I love the story of the resurrection because I know that I am standing on something important. The Bible says they went to the tomb. And when they were going to the tomb, they were so clouded in their minds about what will happen when they get to the tomb. Because they were so afraid and confused, even though they had a beautiful intention of going to bump the body of Jesus, spice up the body of Jesus. And yet, they had forgotten how they were going to get to the actual body because there was a big, a big stone in front of the tomb. Then, the Bible says, when they got there, in the verse 5, something happened. There was an angel. Amen. Their viewpoint 
of what they were expecting that we are going to get there and lo and behold, there will be Roman soldiers, these Italian soldiers, these wicked soldiers who somehow they were strangers to the culture and the tradition of the Jewish system. How were they going to convince these people, these soldiers, that we are genuinely coming to spice up the body of God? They were so anxious. And so, but when they got there, something had happened. And that is so beautiful about our lives. As we are sitting down here, most of the time we always anticipate for the negative to happen. We always, I don't know, that is how somehow human beings, we gravitate towards. We gravitate towards fear. We gravitate towards failure. We gravitate towards pain. We gravitate towards anything that is shameful. We, somehow, I knew this was going to happen. Who told you? I knew that I'm not going to make it. I knew that my child would be a failure. I knew. But when they got there, the situation had changed. My prayer for somebody sitting down here is that no matter what you might be going through or thinking in your mind, yes. no matter what they have labeled you, mm. I pray that as you take another step of faith, you will not see your situation. You yes. will not see the tomb being closed with a big yes, stone, yes, but yes, you will yes, see yes, yes, the Lord. visitation of an angel. Thank you will you see ah, the presence of Elohim. Yes, you will Lord. see an angel of God appearing. Yes. And yes. standing and sitting on top of your situation. Glory. Isn't that beautiful when yes, you Lord. look up and you see that the situation is gone? The diagnosis that were negative now has changed yes. and you are healthy and you are strong yes. again. Yes. Why? Yes, because Lord. the Bible is speaking faith into your condition. Amen. Isn't Amen. that beautiful? Amen. We are full of fear and rightly so. Even to the point that when they saw the angels, mm. oh, patience. You know, that, I don't know. That is life. What I have been thinking of, what I have been envisaging of, yes. about, has come to pass. Job said it beautifully. What I fear has come to pass. Has come to pass. Yes. And so when that happens... Even when God is speaking, you think it's the devil. And you say to yourself, did I hear the voice of God mm. speaking? Mm. To the point that when they came to the tomb and they met and saw this angelic figure, fear gripped them. Mm. Mm. Fear took over. Why, why am I saying that? Because the angel said to the woman, do not be afraid. afraid. That means they were Fearful. Okay. See, when you are entangled with unbelief, mm. and when you are entangled with anxiety, yes. your body naturally gravitates towards fear. Mm. I am pleading with somebody, Amen. even though the situation has lasted long, mm. has lasted all night, yes. I am praying for you that you lift up your head a little bit, change yes. your perspective, yes, see Lord. ahead, and see through faith that your situation is subject to change. No yes, matter what Lord. you are going through, it's subject to change. It's Amen. temporary. That yes. is what Pastor Kingsley, Reverend Kingsley said. The situation is temporary. Yes. After you have suffered a while, wow. it will change because yes, God Lord. Is bound to give you sufficient grace to stand. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Tell somebody, after you have suffered a, while, a little while. After you have suffered a little while. In other words, that condition is temporary. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. That is a powerful and profound statement. Do not be afraid. For I know. For I know. That is the word that I've come to tell somebody. Before we took that step, before we made that decision, yes. before we applied for that job, 
before even the diagnosis and the prognosis were related to you, before the bad news came, the Lord is saying, for I know. Yes. I know. Before the situation happened, that gives me confidence and that gives me hope that no matter what situation I face, when the Lord is in control and he's in charge, yes. I must be still and know oh. that the Lord is still on his throne. Amen. Because the tomb, very soon, the angel will make that profound announcement. Yes. Why? Yes. I know you're looking for Jesus. Yes, I know he was crucified. The angel did not deny that. He says, I know you're looking for Jesus. Who was crucified? In other words, yes, I know. I had the diagnosis. Yes, I know. My bank statement is black or red. Yes. Yes, I know. The system is working against me. Yes, I know things yes, are not yes. working. Yes, I know you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. But when you flick to the other side, the news is a different news. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. The problem is we tend to dwell on yesterday's news. Mm, mm. But yesterday's news is not current. Mm, That's why we call current affairs. Current affairs are the news and situations that are happening now. But we yes. tend to dwell on yesterdays. Mm. That is why Paul jogged our memory and says, one thing I do is to forget about what? Mm. Strive forward. Yes. And strive. Mm. Come on, Nathan, you can help me. Mm. One thing I do is to forget mm -hmm. what is behind what somebody said yesterday, yes. what the diagnosis was yesterday. Yes. Why? Because I know if I flick to the other side, the news will be different. Yes, I know you're looking mm. for Jesus. Who was crucified on Friday? Yes, I know he was crucified. But Mary, have you forgotten what he said? Yes. yes. You know... If the truth is to be told, when these ladies were going to the tomb, the least thing that they thought about was the resurrection. Mm. Oh, can you understand what I'm saying here? Yes. They never thought about any resurrection. Mm. Why? Because mm. the proof was in their hands. Mm. They had spices or spies that they had taken to go and then spice up or bump up the body yes. of Christ. That is a proof. That they that did not they believe, believe that there was going to be resurrection. Yes, I've yes. come to submit to somebody mm. that you also, in your hand, you hold a proof that you don't believe in the resurrection. Oh, you have a proof. You have a proof. You have a proof. The way you are so anxious and so tied up and so confused and disillusioned and disappointed and discouraged. That shows that you don't believe in the resurrection. If I were to be you, I would throw those jar of disappointment yes. away. I would throw those jar of Come discouragement on. away. Yes. I would throw all those jars of disillusionment Come away. And then hold on to the fact that Jesus said, there is a resurrection yes. in your situation. That is what I've come to believe. Yes, Lord. So in order to convince the, the Bible says, the angel said, I know what you are thinking. I know every image of thought in your mind. Mm -hmm. I don't need to say much because you know something. As a man thinketh, so, so is he. Mm. Oh, come on, say it louder. As, as a man thinketh, so is he. Oh, yes. In other words, your thought shapes your emotions wow. yes. and your emotion shapes your behavior yes. and your yes. behavior yes. shapes the condition of yes. your yes yes mm. yeah, yeah. don't you know at times the way you think even shapes the way you walk mm. Mm. yeah yeah mm. if you think you are poor you walk like a poor person if you think you are miserable your face is always dropped <laughs> if you think Tell us, tell about us, what daddy. people say about you, mm. you will always look disturbed. Yes. And when you're looking disturbed, you become either ugly or plain. <laughs> wow. This is deep. Yes, yes. This is yes, deep. Yes. And then when, when, when that happens, you become faithless, isn't it, Pastor? Mm. I like you because you, for you, you're a man of God. <laughs> 
Friday when we were having the prayer meeting, this is just by the way, <laughs> when we were having the prayer meeting, mm. and then I was in my summer house, and mama came in there. Normally, I would look at it. I'll see it from my small distance. Yes, yes. But somehow yes. something touched me. And I said, well, God has blessed me with all these yes, facilities. I saw myself. I saw if myself. If you won't brag yes. about yours, me, I'll yes, brag yes. about the blessings. I saw my picture. I'm boasting in the Lord. <laughs> so I've got this big screen. Why yes, not? Yes. Big screen. <laughs> big screen. screen. <laughs> Why not? So I, I saw what app that Joseph brought. So I zoomed it. I was trying my luck, and then it went there. Ha. Huh. And then, to be honest with you, I never knew that my son in law is that handsome. <laughs> To be, no, 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 I'm not joking. When I saw my son in law just like that, I said, Wow, Evelyn is blessed to have such a man in her life. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not joking. For almost five minutes, I was just sitting down, I was laughing. That, oh, wow, God has brought us, and, and then I saw EJ just. And your color, your color too. But when you came, your color was not like this. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. You see, the problem is, the, 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 the issue is, when you move with the right person, the image of that person uh, nourishes you. He has become who he is because he, he is moving with somebody called Evelyn. And not that he got it from Evelyn, because Evelyn got it from my DNA. Yes, 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 yes. And when mommy, your father mommy, is handsome, you also mommy. naturally become... And mommy's color, mommy's color. Yes, praise the name of the Lord. Where was I? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. You know, everything I'm saying is different from what is in front of me. <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. And so, and, so, and so, who you are depends upon what you think. Your thoughts shapes you. And so the angel knew, oh my goodness, the angel knew that these people, after what had happened within the three days, their thoughts and their minds were so crowded with pain, with unbelief, with fear, with disillusionment, with discouragement. And so the angel did not need to say anymore. All that the angel had to say was to go to the verse 6. Yes. Because when you are dealing with somebody who mm. is so down, at times words are not enough. Mm -hmm. All that you have to do is to point the person to the, the, the proof of the situation. Yes. So the angel said, he is not here. Mm. He is not here. The kind of Jesus that you are looking for, he is not here. Yes. The Jesus who is dead, He's the Jesus who is paralyzed, the Jesus who is sick, He's the Jesus here. who is lying He's down in the tomb, yes. the Jesus whose body is about to be rotten, He's that kind here. of Jesus is not here. Yes. I am submitting to somebody. Yes. I don't know the kind of Jesus that you have come yes, this morning Lord. to serve. I don't know the kind of Jesus yes. that you prayed through. I yes. don't know the kind of Jesus yes. that you worship. Yes. But yes, as for Lord. me and my house, yes. we Serve the Jesus who is, alive, who is alive, who is yesterday, yes. today, and forever. Yes, the Jesus Lord. who is the rock, the yes, Jesus Lord. who is the light, the yes, Jesus Lord. who is the sunshine, yes, the Jesus who is the bread of life. I don't know the kind of Jesus you serve. Yes. So, 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 so then you said, the kind of Jesus that you're looking for, he's not here. He's not here. <laughs> He's not here, but the kind of Jesus that I, the angel of God, yes. I serve, the kind of Jesus yes. that praise gate temple, Come we on. preach, the yes. kind of Jesus yes. that we adore, yes. the kind of Jesus who is the savior of yes. the world, the kind of Jesus that cannot be tarried with religious activities mm. and religious festivities, yes. that kind of Jesus is not in the tomb, he is risen. Yes. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's risen. Therefore, the sweetness of the pudding lies in the, in the eating. eating. 
I know Mary Madeline, you have cried all night. I know you are in pain. Mm. So I don't want to say any more. Come and see. see. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Atam, that's all. Mm. Oh, Reverend, Reverend Kinsley. That mm. is all you need mm. to say. Mm. You don't have to say much. Mm. Come and see. see. Can I get witness to that? For sure. Come and see mm -hmm. that Jesus is not in the tomb. Mm -hmm. Come and see mm -hmm. that the one that you're looking for is not in the tomb. Yes, yes. But the Jesus that we serve, the Jesus who is the fulfill of prophecy, mm -hmm. the Jesus that Isaiah spoke about, yes. the Jesus that Elijah spoke about, yes, the Lord. Jesus that Moses spoke about, yes. he is not in the tomb. Oh, the Jesus that prophesied about oh, himself. Oh, he mm -hmm. says, in three days, I will put down this temple and in three yes. days, I shall I build the temple up. again. Yes. I will be buried and yes. three days, I will rise up again. Yes. I I am not in the tomb, nor in the grave he lay, but out of the grave he is risen. Come on now. Amen. He's risen. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Therefore, I know something that happened in the Bible when in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 39. My goodness. How Jesus told the two disciples of John. They had followed John and they had become so confused because John, they thought John was the Messiah. Mm. And then mm. all of a sudden John told them, I'm not the Messiah. Mm. And so they were confused. And therefore, they were looking for the true Messiah. Mm. And then somehow John has said, Jesus is the Messiah. And so they were confused. And one afternoon they saw Jesus passing by. And that is my prayer for all of us. Yes. That we will experience Jesus passing by, visiting yes. our neighborhood. That's one thing I love about myself. When I see Jesus blessing somebody, yes. I become so glad. Why? Because I know that he is in the neighborhood. And very mm. soon he will come to my house. Amen. And my goodness, I have news to tell somebody. When Jesus is blessing somebody, don't become envious. Mm. Don't become jealous. Why? Yeah. Because very soon... I said very soon your situation will come yes. and Jesus will visit and knock at your door. Hallelujah. Ah, Amen. Andrew, they saw Jesus and they asked Jesus, Master, where do you live? Where do you live? Jesus didn't need to say anymore. Mm -hmm. He looked at them and he says what? Come and you will see. Come at times see. there's a need for us to see that he is risen. Yes, Lord. It's not only coming, but let us justify that active verb of walking by also qualifying it of seeing everything. Yes. Some of us, we come into it quickly, but we don't wait enough to see. Mm. Oh, well, you didn't catch the revelation. Mm. Some of us, all that we do is that we have come in, but we go out not telling what we have seen, See. not telling what we saw, but we go out telling the stories of what others saw. At times, what others might see might not be the real yeah, picture. Yeah. But I will want to come in and, and see it myself yes. so that I can go and tell yeah. what I saw. Yes. When I come in and I see the healing, when I come in and I see the breakthrough, yes. when I come in and I experience the power, then I can go out and, and tell yeah. how I was blind, but now I, I can, can see. Oh, we are ready to come in quickly, but we are not waiting to see. Mm. Therefore, something happened in the book of John chapter 6, verse 22. I think so. The Bible says, these Greek people, they came in. And then, when they came in, they saw. He says, the next day, the crowd stayed. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the opposite shore of the lake, uh, John chapter 12, verse 22, please. Yes, 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 yes. Praise the name of the Lord. So these people, uh, go to the verse 21, yes. So these Greek people came, and then they came to Philip. And then they said to Philip, 
Sir, we would like to we see, to see Jesus. Yes. There were many people around Jesus, but at the grace, none of them wanted to see Jesus. Mm -hmm. They had come around for the bread they ate the other day. Yeah. They have come around just for the miracle. They have come around just to join the euphoria party yes. or the euphoric party. Yep. They've come around because the worship service is good. They have mm. come around because uh, Minister uh, Cassandra can sing and they will shake. They have come around mm. because, ah, yes, Pastor Joseph is coming to preach. No, mm. But this Greek said, no way. We have come all the way not to be enjoying the euphoria of yes. the party. We have come all the way not to be part of the warm, uh, pure warmest. Yes, we yes, have come yes. all the way not to see you, Philip. But we have come today to see Jesus, I am pleading mm. with somebody yes, that your Lord. reason of coming to the house of God yes. is not because of anything, because it is a society, it is a society. No, you have come just to see Jesus. See Jesus. Sir, we want to see Jesus. Yes, we have come from far, but we want to see Jesus. Jesus. Because it is only through Jesus that I will get my healing. Amen. No other name but the name of Jesus. Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, Lord. Come and see the empty tomb. Why? Because, you know, I don't blame them. Going back, I've said that these people, these two women had issues. They had doubts. They had problems. Their minds were so congested with many, many, many problems. And that is how we are at times. Before we were born again or we came into the church, we had many, many challenges, many problems. And therefore, at times when we come to the Lord, it is very difficult to throw aside all those challenges, the way we used to think, the way we used to behave, the way we used to see things. In other words, we still come into the Lord with our own perspective and our old mindset. But then the Bible says, the angel says, come and see that Jesus Christ is not dead. He is alive. Come and see that you, so that you can experience the power of the resurrection. That is the whole message that the angels were preaching. Come and see that you can also have a testimony that you can go and share. Come yes, and yes, see yes. that the Lord is good and his mercies endure yes, forever. forever. Come and see that there's power in the blood that yes. can forgive sin. Come and see that the Lord is the true God. Come and see that our Jesus yes, is yes, not rotten Lord. like the leaders and the prophets of other religion who are still lying in their tomb rotten but yes, our Jesus yes. is still alive. Come and see so that your faith will be equipped and so yes, that you Lord. can stand at the test of time. Come and see. Yes, Lord. Oh, this morning come I plead see. with all of us that we will come and see the empty tomb. Come and see the empty tomb so that we can have power because it is the empty tomb that gives us power. It is the empty tomb that gives us credibility so far as our faith is concerned. Amen. It is the empty tomb that is the proof that our Jesus is not a religious leader, but he is God. Oh, somebody you don't seem to believe yes. it. Come and see it yourself. So that when you live here, you don't tell, I love it, I love it. You know something? It's so good that at, mm. uh, at times... Papa, oh, this on your shot. Me and then Reverend James. Reverend James, he doesn't take his any offense because he's short, I'm also short. But there's something about us that is good. Are you understanding us? When the tall people, they are using their elements, we the short ones, we use our wisdom. But the proof is the wife behind you. See, one day, the crowd, they had all congested and they were all following. But it took only one wise short man who said, no, this is enough, not good for me. 
I don't want to leave this place and go and tell others testimony. Yeah. Oh, I saw Jesus. Hey, the way he did, what he did, what he did, hey, he did. When would Jesus do something true for you? Yeah. That is a problem with the church today. Yeah, yeah. There was a very a man of God, which I know, most of you know him very well. And I hate men of God when they come here and preach. When I was in Italy, I did this and there was healing. Do the healing here for me to see now. Ah, I don't like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was another man of God that I knew very well. Very, very, very well. He was, he was very, very, very well. I was this and I, I, the man was dead and I prayed and he was healed. I don't doubt that. But now, there are many, many men and women sitting down here whose pockets are dead. Pray for divine resurrection. Patients want a touch. Pray that she will get a touch. Reverend Jason wants a touch. Pray that she will, he will get a touch. That's what I'm after. The problem is we follow people's testimony. When we don't have any testimony, the man said, all that I know, I don't know whether he's a prophet or not, all that I know was that I was blind, but now I can see. All I know. And therefore, when you have come and then witness, in other words, seeing, see what the Lord has done, it becomes imperative on your part. That is the verse 10. And that is how I end my sermon. Verse 10 says, that is Matthew chapter 28, verse 10. And this one, it was from the Lord. And the Lord says, then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Now, when you go to the verse 6 and verse 7, something happened. Let's go to the verse 7, what the angel said. So the angel said, he is not here. He has risen. Just as he said, come and see the place where he lay. And then go quickly and tell. In other words, when you have come and you have seen, when you have come and you have tested that the Lord is good. Oh, come and taste that the Lord is good. When you have done that, don't keep it to yourself. Don't keep it to yourself. That was what Pastor Emmanuel was singing. Don't keep it to yourself. Go and. Go and. I said, go and tell. If you have received a miracle, go and tell. If you have received healing, go and tell. If you have received salvation, go and tell. Come on, I said I wasn't going to tell nobody, but I couldn't keep it to myself. Tell. Go and tell your family. Yes. Go and tell your neighborhood. Yes, go Lord. and tell your workmate. Yes. Go and tell your schoolmate. Yes. Go and tell the man on the street. Yes. Go and tell others. Others Ooh. need Jesus. Others have lost Lord, hope. Tell. Others are discouraged. Yes, others want Lord. to be lifted. Others are going to hell. Go and tell. Go and God tell. tell. Hallelujah. I said I wasn't going to tell the body, but I couldn't keep it to myself. Couldn't keep it to myself. Couldn't keep it to myself. I said I wasn't going to tell the body, but I couldn't keep it to myself. What the Lord has done for me. I said I wasn't going to sing for Jesus, but I couldn't keep it to myself. Couldn't keep it to myself. Couldn't keep it to I said I wasn't gonna testify, but I couldn't. Mm, what the Lord has done for me. You ought to be there, you ought to be there. But you said, my soul, say, my soul. You ought to be there, you ought to be there. But you put my name on the road. Started walking, started talking. Ask that for me. You know, you know, I was praising my son the way how handsome he is, but the way he's singing, I said I wasn't going to tell nobody, but I'll let everyone show you. 
Jesus. Sing it with meaning for me, please. Sing the song, the, the song that the two of you sang. Oh, okay. Yes, that one is beautiful. Let us all stand up and please, we close the service with that song. Amen. Where is Minister Cassandra? Praise the name of the Lord. Listen, listen, listen. God has been good to us. Amen. Listen, we have a lot to tell, you know. Yes. Rescue yes. the perishing. Yes. We have a lot to tell. A lot God has made him the boss at his work for a time such as this so that he can tell them about Jesus. Amen. One day God will hold him responsible. God will hold you responsible. All the students that you're teaching, that is the reason why. All the children that come to your fold, that is the reason why. All the people that you cook for, Mama Priscilla, that is the reason why. Everywhere. Wherever you go, tell them about Jesus. Quickly, we sing that song and then we, Reverend Kingsley was. Amen. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within the presence I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Oh, declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Your name is power Your name is healing Your name is love in the street Jesus in the darkness over every enemy Jesus for my family I speak the holy name Jesus Come on shout Jesus from the mountains Jesus in the streets Jesus in the darkness over every enemy Jesus from my family I speak the holy name Jesus Shout Jesus from the mountains And Jesus in the streets Jesus in the darkness Over every enemy 
sing. Say, your name, say, your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every set, break every shadow. Shine through the shadow. But I didn't hear the church. I want to break the music one more time. Say, your name, say, your name is power. Shadow, but like the fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You must be excited after such a wonderful message. Amen. Let us give a clap of friends, Daddy. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Your life should never be the same after living here today. Like Daddy said, the situation has changed. Amen? The situation has changed. It's up to you to believe it. The situation has changed. God told him to tell you that the situation has changed. It's up to you to believe it. Amen? Praise God. You came here with your spices to spice up your troubles. Maybe ask God to comfort you. But today, is not, God is not in the business of comforting you. He wants to make a change and he has done it. Amen. Hallelujah. So we have every reason today to live out here. And the people that know you before you came here, they said, what happened? Just tell them, listen, he is risen. My situation has what? Changed. Amen. And he said, do what? Because of that, go out there. Hurry quickly. Leave this place today. Leave quickly. Go tell somebody, look what the Lord has done. He has done it for me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, we just want to thank you for visiting us today. Sending your angel to us, oh God, to bring such a wonderful message of assurance that, oh God, oh Lord, we do not need to seek, Father, oh God, living among the dead. But Father, we that we are alive, our situation has changed and it has changed forever. Therefore, may you grant us the grace to go out there, Father, and live the life of a risen sons and daughters of you. Father, we pray that whatever circumstances that we brought, Father, to the grave, it is left at the grave. And we will go out there in our various homes, in our various workplaces, to shine in the risen glory that we have received through the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for every son, every daughter, brother, sister, mother, father, the young, the infants, every child in this place. Father, oh God, for their lives. Bless them, keep them, protect them, and above all, let them fulfill their destiny. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Somebody, somebody wherever you are, just hold the hands of somebody. Amen. This is a corporate time that we are all receiving the benediction. <clears throat> now as I lift up my hands, I speak the ironic blessings upon everyone. May the Lord bless us and keep us. And may the Lord make his face shine upon us. And the whole of this week be gracious unto us. And above all, may the Shekinah glory and the presence of Elohim be upon us. And in the name of Jesus, give us peace. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. If you believe this, say amen. amen. Please, please, I'm begging all of you. Please. I know the men, we are just 200 here. After service, can I see all the men here? If you don't come here, that means you are. No, 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 no. no. Women, uh, if you are a woman, you are blessed. Yes, that means you are. You are. Please, all the men come here so that I can speak to all of you. God bless you. The reason why I wanted to finish my target was twelve. Was that I wanted to compensate last week, especially. When my son, Elder Prince, comes in and he goes back to work, we drag the service. But, so myself and Reverend Richard, 
we have agreed that every day, at most by 12.15, I will finish church service. Is that fair? Uh, but I try my best today. Why not clap for me? Amen. 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 Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means you also have to be here on time so that I can finish on time. After service, let us go and greet my beautiful daughter who visited us today. Amen. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and share the grace together. May Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Before you share the, uh, uh, before you pronounce surely, I'm begging you. I, I, I'm, uh, we are really. working. So if you were not able to use the machine, go and use the machine. As soon as they said that the machine was not working, I said to myself, which tomb have I visited? <laughs> Next week, come and then pay double. You will get double blessing for your troubles. I mean, just few people said amen. 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 Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. After church, all the men, I want to see Edda, Edda, Edda.